So here we are. I'm saving my work. I'm locking the river. And it's time to add an airplane. I know. You didn't think it was going to be as cool as that, but it is. Uh, I've just done a quick little screen capture that I stole somebody else's airplane. And there's our basic shape that we're going to make. Um, so I'll refer back to that in just a second. But we're going to make our own. And we're going to make ours way too big because it's just easier to make it way too big. And then we can scale it because, after all, it's just math and vector graphics. So let's choose the easy mode. So holding down control. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start with the plane body, which should look something like that. And then I can round off the nose of the plane. Something like that. And come back to the plane body. Hold that control again. Nice feature like that. Again, I'm making this way too big. So control. And I'll just do a little shift or bounce this one off. Time, control, wait on there, and smaller to the other one. Oh, that green just disappeared, that wasn't very nice. And once again, all these points can be edited in a future time. one off. And I'm going to click, so I'll click on that point, and then go back and finish here and quite obviously tell what it is I'm going to be editing. So this point here, um, so what I'll do is hold down control and, and actually Oh, you're going to be like that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Alright, fine. So, we will... Okay, uh, this color back here. And... Okay. Yes, we can. And I'll click on the other question. Click on you. Oh, control click on the circle. Control click on the circle there. So now you've got our straight lines. Um, Oh, you're going to be nice and small, and then you're going to be nice and big. Yeah, it makes no sense at all because I'm not looking for that shape. So, oops. Now, if that looks a little bit too cartoonish, we can always fix that later. And actually, I'm going to extend all of these ones and just pull them straight back. Okay. And it's time to fill in. Shift all one over there. Shift all one over there. Shift all over there. Shift all one over there. Okay. And so let's darken it up a little bit. And then add highlight on it. And set the stroke. points no. And then we'll shift on that. So we're 
windows out just to smooth it out. That's better. So now on my airplane layer, I can hit Control A or Edit Select All. There, Select All there. And once I've done that, I'm going to choose the the first black arrow. And actually, let's lock this just in case. And now everything goes in perspective. Around. Okay. And I could put it in front of the mountain. I could put it in front of this mountain. Now I could put it over top of the city. I think that kind of looks better. It's here. Doesn't quite look like a rocket ship. And I think I can get away with that. And let's see. Here. Okay. Although, hmm. if I turn the stroke off there, nope, then it fades right into the background. Hmm. Let's see if I can get down. Okay. So we've got a little bit smaller. Overwhelming. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, you can sort of give it a little bit of motion. Huh? And enter. And I'll make that white. I said, I'm going to go white. And do it over. Stretch that out. How oh, does that look bad? So I'll just set the stroke with a small number. So you, there, these are just different ways to cheat. But, um, I'll just do 0 0.2 there. Now, the other thing is, as you bring it back, it probably makes it a smaller line than what you had before. Now you're to the almost to the point where it doesn't really sound even noticeable. So now at least the white lines are somewhat noticeable. Again, this is all just you know, based on personal preference. And you're almost ready to add the text to finish everything up.